oh my days, summer has arrived eventually, the end of September. So I'm at my favourite climb, which is Dovestone. So I've just come out to do a little loop. I'm doing one of my favourite routes um, that I've not done in good year and a half. So I can't be that much of a favourite route, but it is. I've just done other stuff. So today's route is going to be Dovestones down the other side. The descent is amazing. Um, and then up home Moss, back through Glossop, and then back to where I live. Um, so I probably should be stood this way, but the sun is right in my eyes. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll catch up with you in a little bit, but oh God, this weather, I knew today was going to be good and oh, I just feel so lucky that I can get out today on my bike and enjoy the beautiful weather. Is there a better feeling than riding hills in the countryside, in short sleeves, in shorts, like on a day like today, there's just, oh, there's not a better feeling, there is not. So that is home moth going up that road there. You can see it. And I guess today's video, I want it to be encouraging to you uh, because I've just remembered I've got some really old footage from when I first rode up home moth in, I think it was 20, 2015, so like four years ago. And the reason I want to show is I want to show like the difference in my weight loss and obviously the difference in um, like fitness. And I guess I've just, over those four years, I've just put a lot of effort into riding, exploring and having fun and getting fit. So if you are feeling now like you feel like you're not very fit or you want to lose weight, then I hope this is an encouraging bit of video to show you to help you keep, keep on. And this is like, what am I even saying, Katie? I think I should just go and ride it. <laughs> I just wanted to share the day with you, really, because it's just such a beautiful day, and I feel like if any way I can help encourage you in your cycling journey, then that's what I want to do. Um, and I, I think a lot of it is about... I know, I'll touch you in a bit. I'll get up there. Let's get climbing. Look how pretty today is. And I just decided to go to Home Moss, um, which is the first time... First time I've ever been, so... Oh my god! Let's see what it's like. But it's such a nice day. Show them how nice it is. <laughs> We're just at the top of Home Moss. Is it Home Moss? Oh yeah, Home Moss Summit. And I was really like scared about, not scared about, well, I was scared about doing it. Because a few people have told me that they've been up and that they're saying that they said it was like really steep and there were parts of it that were like really steep and I just got it in my head I was like oh fuck I'm not gonna be able to do it like I'm gonna fall off or even though I've, oh, it's gone now there's a lady bit on my hand um that even though I've, like I've done climbs and stuff before I don't know because he'd said that it was really like quite steep I got really like worried and the first Hi. time hello, hello. <laughs> and the first time I did Norton Summit um, a woman had said to me, "Oh, you know, you, you can't, you can't go up there on a bike. You know, it's too steep. You'll, you'll not do it." And so I had her thoughts like in my head, and it really like put me off. And you shouldn't. I, I sort of learnt from it not to kind of take, hang on, <laughs> like take other people's um, like thoughts about things. We should just do it for you. Go and see what it's like. Like I should have today. I've just thought ignored all that and then just go and if I can do it, I can do it. If I can't, then just keep trying until I can do it. So I guess that's the message. Don't like take other people's fears and make them your own. You should just like have your own um, ideas and thoughts. Maybe. That climb is just so good, especially when the weather's like this. I just love it. It's just loads of like little bends and it's, it's really, really an amazing climb. And yeah, in fairness, I've got to be honest, like at the minute, I'm not on like peak climbing. For, I don't feel like I've actually climbed that much this year, like done that much like big hills and stuff, not in comparison to last year. So that did feel a little bit harder than I would have liked. Um, but I guess the whole point of showing the other clips is to show that you just need to put the effort in. And if you put the effort in, climbs do become easier and you get fitter and you lose weight and there's only you that can do 
do that. Like you can get frustrated sometimes. I get frustrated sometimes with myself. And I'm like, why am I not as fit as I want to be? Or And it's because I've not recently been putting the effort into training. So it's not going to feel as easy. You can't have it both ways. You can't not put the training in. I mean, unless you're one of those really annoying people that don't do any training and I'll just make a fit all the time. Like, I hate that. <laughs> I have to really put the time into training to get fitter. Um, but yeah, I love it. This is just such a fun day out. So yeah, I'm going to head down. Right, okay, this descent. This descent is actually one of my favourite descents. Um, there's a video on it I've done before. I mean, I've talked about it a million times before in videos, but... Um, I feel like it feels like you're going into like the centre of the earth or something. It just feels so long and steep and just oh, I love it. Oh, this day could not get any better. That car over there. So I've just eaten something because my mouth sounds a bit claggy. He's got a song on, which is one of my favourite like relaxing songs. I don't even know what it's called. It's something about sand dunes. I don't even know what it's called. Can you hear it? This is the most perfect day. But yeah, like this to me, this is just like my happy place. I just love it. Being out on my own, like obviously I love riding in groups, but I love coming out on my own and just stopping when I want. And just enjoying the countryside. Hi, Hello. Chatting to people. Okay, now he's got some kind of like trance music on. I'm off. <laughs> back I've not even showered yet I've just done a bit of yoga um, but I just kind of want to kind of add on to why I showed the clips because sometimes I feel like I don't know it's I, uh, for me actually it's really good to look back on that and realize that I have come a long way because equally like I said before I do get a bit frustrated sometimes I'm like oh I want to be faster I want to be able to do this I want to be able to do that and actually we should just like appreciate you know the effort that we've put in and how far we have come so yeah i want that to be like a lesson or like a a motivation for you if you are feeling a little bit fed up or feeling like um you're not improving fast enough it's just you just gotta take time there's no fast way of getting fitter or losing weight it's all in like the long the long term i guess and i need to remind myself of that so yeah also to add on to this video I have been pretty bad. So during the Aeropex um, competition to win the headphones, uh, I've only just got around to picking a winner. So I've had so many messages about it. I'm really sorry it's taken me so long to, to choose a winner. So da -da -da -da, the winner is, and this is so like, that's like the drum roll, Daryl Carter. So yeah, Daryl Carter, if you want to drop me a message on Instagram, um and get in touch with me there or you can drop me an email um from <laughs> God, what am i saying i need to I need some food um like you drop me an email the email is in the description just drop me an email and get, i'll get your address and then send them out to you so thank you so much for everyone for participating in the um competition i will try and get some more competitions lined up for you because i want to give back to you all for supporting me and on that note i'm gonna go and get a shower because i feel so sweaty and rank and i need a shower and i'm going out for tea so i need to get myself a bit spruced up i can't go out like this so yeah thank you so much and tomorrow have a watch out on my instagram because i'm going to the lake to do the struggle hill climb there will be a video about it next week but if you want to see the live action then have a follow me on instagram at katie kukabura with a one on the end so I will leave it there, farewell. Have a lovely Friday night and I will see you on Monday or on Instagram tomorrow.